think that annual uh, challenge for me as a teacher is expecting from my incoming students what my outgoing students from the year before had achieved. And sometimes I have to dial myself back and realize they're not quite ready for that. And so in building AP skills through this structure, it seems maybe for, for a teacher looking in an earlier unit on the CED or an earlier unit in a textbook aligned to the CED that well, students can do more than that. But sometimes I need to remind myself, well, not these, those were those other students that I said goodbye to last year. Mm -hmm. And so that gradual release uh, is tempting to go past it because we want to do more. We want to take them to that complexity level so soon, uh, but know that it's just going to be so much better. It won't be so elusive to them if we do it in a, a structured and a, um, a deliberate way, intentional way. You know, the research continues to show us over and over that uh, the, the teachers uh, who know where their students are on, on, on skill development are the most successful. And so we've built in ways for teachers to use formative assessments to know where their students are so they can go back and reteach if necessary or move on to the next skill. And so when we talk about that fabric that's going horizontally and vertically and, and it's all coming together into a unified whole, it's this idea that everything that we have in our book works together because it's all going to achieve the same purpose, helping students develop understanding, helping students to build and craft their own uh, arguments about important issues. Uh, ultimately, we want, we want our students to change the world. And we want to give them, through this resource, the power, the tools that will help them change the world. And that's what we're about as teachers. Mm -hmm.